is almost always a plus when house hunting in the district, but when Brian Nelson bought his Northeast home... Our Prius was really just our city car. Little did he know that street parking he was so lucky to get would also make him a target. Just remember coming home from uh, one morning from uh, a, a client call and there was no Prius in front of the house. His 2007 Prius with, get this, 165,000 miles on it, stolen. It was recovered days later in Maryland, missing one thing, the catalytic converter. I had to go pick it up in Prince George's County and drive it home. Uh, basic, I had my ears plugged while I'm driving because it was making so much noise. The News 4i team found that awful noise is one hundreds of drivers around the D.C. region have experienced. Some woken up in the middle of the night as thieves sawed off the precious car part in under one minute. Do you have people knocking down your door and with a bucket full or a box full of catalytic converters? People do call me all the time and say, hey, would you like to buy our converters from us? We have a, you know, 20 of them. Will you give us some money for them? It's illegal for you to do, so I won't do it. Andy Cohen runs a Maryland recycling facility near D.C. and knows the value of those car parts. This whole catalytic converter thing, yep. when did, like, was this always a thing? Or when did you start saying, what the heck is, like... I'm going to say in the past three years, the prices of the precious metals have gone up, which in turn has created the theft of the converters because that's what's in them. And that's what the News 4i team found when we analyzed theft data from D.C. police since 2019. There were just two that year, 28 the following year, jumping to 238 in 2021 and close to 300 last year. This is a citywide problem. Captain Jeffrey Kopp with the Criminal Investigations Division says no area is immune to the crime trend, but there are hot spots, as we found when we mapped out the thefts. They are uh, more predominantly concentrated in like our northern and northeastern areas of the city, uh, like along Eastern Avenue where we border uh, PG County uh, and in the far north uh, of DC. The I team found the dog days of summer also heated up the thefts with more than 20 reported incidents over just two days in August. Captain Cobb says his detectives are working to track the stolen parts, likely sold to questionable mechanics or salvage yards interested in the precious metals inside the converters. Trying to track down exactly where they're going has proven difficult. Imagine how many uh, salvage yards are in this area. Uh, and who's to say that the criminals are even staying here in the D.C. area? That's why his unit is also working with outside agencies also seeing a spike. We've been working very closely with our regional partners um, as well as uh, our federal partners on this uh, to try to develop any nexus that we can between any suspects that have been arrested. Uh, and so far uh, in the D.C. cases, we have not made any arrests. Is this an impossible crime to crack down on? This is a very difficult crime to crack down on. Something Brian Nelson found out after the first theft of his catalytic converter. So you had replaced the catalytic converter back on it. Yep. Put it back in front of the, the house. And after three weeks, it was gone. And this time we didn't get it back. A crime that's still revving up. They're gone in 20 seconds. With crooks not slowing down. Susan Hogan, News 4 IT. Well, as you can see, protecting yourself and your car is key. Police say to do that, you should park in a well-lit area to discourage thieves. Also, you should install, install rather a car alarm and get some security cameras in the area where you park. For more ways to protect yourself, visit our NBC Washington app and click on Investigation.